All right, so we got the one atom weight um, finals is set. It's going to be Rita Fogat from India versus uh, Stamp Fairtex from Thailand. And uh, both won by decision in the semis. Uh, Rita Fogat beat uh, Jinlun Olsen from the Philippines. And uh, Rita being a, you know, a great wrestler was able to take Jinlun Olsen down throughout the three rounds and uh, get to the positions that she's strong in, which is the side position and north-south, you know, and kneeing and elbowing from those positions. Now, Olsen did a good job of uh, retaining guard and uh, trying to get submissions there, but she wasn't able to, uh, you know, submit um, Fogat. And uh, in the other fight, <clears throat> we had Stamp Fairtex versus Julie Mezzabarba, which was a, a stand-up fight for the most part. Um, and Stamp was able to land more kicks and punches. Uh, Mezzabarba did get a couple of takedowns, but Stamp, I think, has really underrated grappling skill. And uh, she was able to get to uh, Mezzabarba's back, um, sweep and get to the back. And uh, she was able to win the decision comfortably. And uh, so this is going to be interesting because I think Stamp's come a long way in her grappling. And uh, Fogat was in some positions that were you know, somewhat dangerous. I don't think she was anything that was fully locked, but she was in some dangerous positions with Jinlin Olsen. So it's going to be interesting. Uh, this is going to be the wrestling versus the Muay Thai. And uh, Stamp Fairtex is probably going to have to submit um, Fogat from her back or maybe a you know, land a knee when Fogat's taking a shot um, to win the fight. And uh, I think Stamp's ground game has improved a lot, so it'll be interesting to see who can kind of get the chess match where they want it to go. Um, <clears throat> so, what do you guys think about this matchup? Did you uh, watch the tournament? And uh, what do you think about these two fighters? I think Fogat has a lot of potential. You know, this. Whether she wins or loses this fight, I think she has huge potential in the sport because she's already very famous in India. And uh, she's just kind of scratching the surface when it comes to the grappling.